finally done. Got out of that spot. We're able to winch out and get out mostly on our, under our own power. How was that, Gene? Pretty crazy. Yeah, you don't want to do a trail like that by yourself. You break something, you're done, unless you got a bad boy like this to help tug you out. Today, Couldn't have had a better person with us. Today, we're lucky to have Nathan, Gene's Hi, brother, and he's in this beautiful, beautiful Jeep Gladiator. Yeah, it's nice. She called me a bad, I don't know, were you calling me a bad boy or my Jeep? Your this Jeep. bad oh. boy. Oh, I thought you were saying I was a bad boy and I needed to well, buy you a milkshake. You will be until you give me that milkshake you owe me. <laughs> we also just wanted to say thank you guys for subscribing. We're up to 500 subscribers and that means a lot yep, to thank us. Thank you. Thanks for coming on adventures with us. We kind of took the wrong road, but it turned out to be a good thing because we ended up seeing all the balloons from Balloons and Tunes down in Kanab. It's beautiful. And we've only just begun. Alright, now we're up to our first real obstacle. I don't know if you can tell with the sunlight, but this is going to be interesting. See how the boys do for sure. The road goes that way. Yep. Which way? Oh, I think the actual road goes that way. That's a side obstacle. Oh, that's just an extra little thing. I'm thinking so too. You're just starting to drop on your driver's side.
This is the slider. Yeah, that that looks like a slider. And not not the kind you eat. Ma'am, you're gonna knock me off a mountain. Nova, come here. Keep going straight. Crank it. Come down nice and slow. Passenger. Passenger. You're going to come down about six inches onto that rock you wanted to be on. Keep it, passenger. Oh, my Lanta. You're, you're going to come down. You're just going to go. Oh, that held better than I thought too, but. So Gene and Nathan, what'd you guys think of the slide? Oh, that was fun. <laughs> Not as bad as I was thinking it was going to be, really, from the videos. You guys yeah. did awesome. Well, it was really fun because you kind of hit a hole in your slide a little bit, and then slide a little bit, and then slide a little bit. It yep. was kind of fun. You're good. I, I bet it is. Keep coming forward. Passenger a little. You're going to step down about six inches and about two feet. Passenger a little. Gonna drop. Yep. Passenger.
Get some, baby. I know. Terrible for filming, too. Okay. This front tire is not doing nothing. There's just enough of an overhang right here that's being a pain. <laughs> oh yeah. Good job, Daddy O. Good. Wait, 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 back it up. Passenger a little bit. Okay, now steer into it because you were had that passenger wheel cocked real good. No, but get out of the way. This is gonna require a little turnaround. Unlock your rear. Can't. I can either do rear only or both. Really? There you go. Again. See, and that's where you've got the advantages. If you can get around a little tighter. A little bit. All right, this is our next obstacle we're gonna go up. And there's Jean crawling up it just to give you an idea how gnarly this step up is.
sucks. That's not supposed to look like that. Well, broke the front axle. Would you like to meet the trail that got the goddamn it this little bugger might not seem like much but it is fierce all right so we have renamed this the axle breaker and this is what it looks like from the bottom might not seem like a lot Well, broke off at its weakest point. Right where it tapers down before where the splines start. Where it goes into the CV. Are we going to be able to make it out of here? Pulling a lot of rope? Yeah. What do you feel about the obstacle? Why do you think it broke? It's a weak ass freaking Chinese drop shaft. Fair enough. The lamest thing is, I have a Tom Woods heavy duty drive shaft at home, but I thought it was out of balance, so I put my old crappy one back in. Found out it was a wheel bearing. And I just didn't put the Tom Woods one back in. So I screwed up there. Well, at least we have a backup and can be back on the road pretty soon. Pretty easy to dig in right here. And only having rear-wheel drive, basically. <laughs> See if the dammit can make it up this with all the weird things it's doing. That slick rock is slick. Is that why they call it slick rock? I think so. <laughs> That's right, out of the danger zone. Come on, just pull me up over this. I can't. Oh, yeah, look at my hands. It's gross. <laughs> Bypass.
Probably right there. Yeah, that's probably good. That's one way to do it, right? Uh, I need a pole. <laughs> My ass is going to go sideways. Yep. Nathan! I'm not entirely sure. It looks like it could be really good or really bad. I don't oh, know. Oh, it goes that way. Okay. Interesting. Bump it! Yeah. It's deep right there, my love. Start her up and dig your back tires in a little. That's what we just got winched up. It's crazy. So we've opted for this right here, which is super deep sand, and it I don't think the damn it's gonna be able to do it without some help, but Jean's gonna give her hell. 
Nathan's gonna go out in front so we have something to winch off of. Super out of breath after that climb. Nice and gentle, just like that. Yeah. You want to back up like a foot and I'll disconnect you? Gene! I'm going to have him back up. Um, what's yep. My other, what's my other wheel look like? Am I going to fall in anything? No, you're good. Back up. Go ahead. Keep coming. Good. Let me unhook you. Yep. It feels sketchy for sure, but I think you'll be okay. I'm wondering if I, I need to get up higher or something so it's more direct straight. Yeah. Can you back up to here and bump up that? And then we'll let a little more line out and hook onto you? Yeah. Um, I think I can just almost just crawl it back into that. Okay. Okay. Your tranny smells hot or something. Huh? Your transmission or something smells hot. Probably that wind. Probably. Sure pulling that Jeep forward. Or backward I meant. Yeah, we're gonna probably need a new winch after this. You're smoking. Oh yeah, that, that must be what that smoking is. He doesn't got a lot of traction up there either. and getting tugged up all the hills. Fun stuff. Weird being on that end of the winch so much, huh? <laughs> there it says, hell no, you're done when it gets too hot. Well, that, that way they save the winch.
Are you going down the fun way or are you taking the easy way? No, I'm going down the fun way. Which, wants to go the fun way. which fun way, left or right? I can ride. Okay. There's a hole in that one. Driver, or passenger, sorry. All right, you ready for a slip and slide? Big slide. Hole, hole in one. I'm just going to randomly name all of the weird obstacles. Hole in one. Hit. Beautiful. Jean is going to bring her down the hole in one too. Little driver. Sorry, Nobi. More driver. Up there a little ways. Yeah. That clunk. We've back done to where we started this fiasco. Full circle now. This is where we started. And we'll be back again for a redemption. Yeah, huh? Up on the top. Still locks up pretty good. It's frozen. 
we're pretty much safe and sound, so Jean's putting the winch and the bubber rope back. Did you guys have fun? Oh, I had a ball. This was so fun. <laughs> you want to come do it again where we don't break stuff? I'll come anytime. <laughs> Breaking stuff just makes for a good story. Well, I'm glad I had you with me. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Well, and that's why you don't go alone. I wasn't going to go alone. I was yeah. going to have Lord call me a day or something. Yeah. That not having a front locker, it wouldn't have pulled me a Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nova's putting her two cents in like she knows. <laughs> By the way, I'm sure you probably already know already, but this is my brother Nathan from Crawl Zone. Ooh, you've been Crawl Zoned. All right, we made it home. It's the next day now after work. Got my grubbies on. Gonna throw my new driveline in. Well, not new, but my Tom Woods back in. <laughs> And I just wanted to say that I consistently called that drive shaft an axle yesterday, and I my brain just wants to keep calling it an axle, so I apologize to all of the all of the motor people out there. Okay, it actually was the drive shaft that broke, not the CV, if you're wondering. That's where the drive shaft goes into the CV. CV's still good, but probably not for long. It's starting to dry up in there, but that's what happens with these cheap. Amazon drive shafts, junk. Don't buy them if you plan on doing any serious wheeling. Tom Woods is the way to go. We'll be back out on the trail shortly. <laughs>